10 minutes into it, we'll get started. Uh, so first of all, welcome to the Q3 Hackathon. Uh, it's sort of the uh, starting start of the fall, I guess, that we're talking about summer being over. Uh, but glad to kick it off with the Q3 Hackathon. And uh, in conjun conjunction with the September Court D meeting, we took uh, a month off in August uh, with a lot of people's summer holidays. Uh, so uh, typical agenda like we had over the past couple of quarters where we'll just go through hackathon logistics, uh, highlight some of the issues that we have. Uh, we actually have a lot, quite a few of them, a lot of issues that we want to encourage community members to work on. Um, so we'll highlight those. And then we uh, kept the agenda relatively light for the court team meeting. Uh, so there's just a couple of items, uh, but we'll, I mean, one of them is a follow-up from the last call back in July, so we'll go through them in a few minutes. So let me advance my slides. Uh, David's uh, unfortunately not on the call. He's, um, I mean, luckily for him, he's uh, spending some time off with his son, uh, finishing off his paternity leave, so he'll be back in a few weeks. Uh, so you'll just be sort of me as a host. Uh, so agenda for uh, the hackathon kickoff, and I have a separate agenda for the core team meeting uh, in several slides. Uh, as we always do uh, with um, all of our uh, events, um, whether it's virtual or you know in person, uh, just want to remind people of the community code of conduct. We want to ensure that we have a welcoming and open uh, environment for everybody that participates in all of our events. Uh, so I won't go to the details. You'll, you can read the full text in, in the second link there. Uh, there's also an email alias uh, if you have any concerns. Um, but I mean, just again, as a reminder, we do this with uh, all of our events. Uh, many of you may have been part of Commit um, uh, last week. You probably saw reminders there and all of our virtual meetups too. Um, so uh, just a quick reminder on that. Uh, whoops, sorry. Um, so quick logistics. I mean, this is should be. I mean, a lot of a lot of you uh, folks that are on the call are uh, are probably pretty experienced with hackathons. I do see one or two uh, new names, uh, so welcome. But uh, so we, I mean, uh, you know, so the this is a two day event, and then we want to make make you know uh, we didn't want to create like a a situation where you have to remember what time zone you have to be in for the event. So you can just pick the 48 hours, uh, September 2nd or 3rd, and whichever time zone you're in. Uh, so, uh, you know, typically the MRs come in from like Asia Pacific um, because it's already uh, on, this, uh, on, on September 2nd. Uh, but we do have a kickoff session, even though people have started working on MRs or submitting MRs, and we have a, a wrap-up session on the on the third at 2200 UTC. But I, I want to uh, encourage everyone to just work in your time zone. You don't have to, uh, unless you want to, you don't have to be up at midnight trying to submit MRs. Um, and again, we have a number of office hours. Uh, the package and runner team, this has sort of become a tradition over the past, um, I think this is like a third time in a row. Uh, they wanted to have their office hours coincide with, um, uh, slides are not visible, sorry. Let me share it again. My Zoom is certainly weird. Uh, let's do this. Uh, don't want to delay this any further. I'll post a link here to the to the slide deck so you can you can see it. Sorry about that. My Zoom is pretty bizarre today, but thanks for your patience. So hopefully you, you've been able to open the presentation. So in case you can't see it. Uh, my share button looks like really different for whatever reason. Um, but oh well, so uh, we're on slide number five for, for those of you that are just opening up the slides. Um, so yeah, I think I was mentioning that, I mean, package and runner teams have been co having their office hours during, during the hackathon. So if you're interested in either one of those, uh, 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 either one of those, um, I mean, pro projects or, or teams. Uh, I mean, if you want to see what kind of, uh, I think runner team typically does like a synchronous MR review. They'll pick out all of the MRs they want to look at and 
package team looks at, um, uh, they not only discuss like MRs that are currently reviewing, but uh, they also look at like a, areas that they want community members to focus on. And a couple new uh, other tutorials, uh, first from release management team and uh, folks from the GitLab pajama teams will be on. Uh, they have a number of epics or uh, issues that uh, they listed on, uh, for the hackathon, but uh, if you're interested in working on any of the pajamas related stuff, uh, stay tuned for their tutorials and in about, uh, uh, probably in about 11, 12 hours. Um, and if you happen to miss any of the tutorial sessions, I mean, uh, they'll all be uh, listed on the playlist. I have the link there that you can take a look at. And I'll talk about suggested issues. I have a separate slide on that uh, in a few minutes. Um, so here's a reminder on the tutorial sessions. I mean, beginning with this kickoff and the core team meeting to all the tutorials, office hours, and, and the wrap-up session uh, on September 3rd. Uh, so everything should be up to date on the main hackathon page. And as presentation links become available, I just got one from Jackie for the release management tutorial. I'll uh, have an MR to add that to the, uh, to the hackathon page. So as we get new materials or, or YouTube recordings, they'll all be posted here uh, under the tutorial page, uh, tutorial section. Um, moving right along on slide seven. Uh, uh, so uh, the best place to get help uh, during Hackathon is, uh, is on, on the contributors uh, Gitter channel and, and then feel free to ping me. Uh, or, I mean, typically, uh, I mean, David's not here this week, but I mean, even if uh, after I go to bed, we have a lot of community members in APAC and, and European regions. Uh, so if you have any questions with, about GDK or a particular issue, if you post a question there, there's a good chance that uh, a lot of people that are on the call right now will probably be able to answer your questions. Uh, so that's the best place to start uh, to, to ask questions and, and connect with other people. I was just checking, we're, I think we're approaching like 600 people on Gitter, uh, so quite a, few, quite a growth uh, that we're going to have on, on the Gitter. Uh, so it's certainly a good place to hang out. And then we've uh, also created a bridge between uh, GitLab internal Slack and, uh, and Gitter. Uh, so a lot of, uh, it's, it made it easier for a lot of uh, GitLab employees to just stay on Slack and, and respond to messages. Uh, so I certainly encourage people to uh, jump on Gitter uh, if you haven't done that before. And you don't have to create a separate login. You, you can just log in with your GitLab ID. Uh, so, uh, the quick, uh, talk quickly about, uh, uh, the, uh, prizes and what you do after you submit your MR and number of people have already done this. When you submit an MR, uh, just you feel free to, uh, copy me or just mention me at our and, um, and then I'll make sure that they get counted as a hackathon MR and I'll be. Uh, list, I started listing MRs that have been submitted. I think we already have like a 20 plus uh, so far. Uh, I'll be listing them in the issue, issue number 41 under, under Hackathon. And, uh, and then you'll see a Hackathon MR counter uh, starting to count the number of MRs that have been submitted on the main Hackathon page as well. Um, so yeah, do, feel free to get my attention on the MR or even on the issue where we're tracking the, the MR as you can, uh, you can ping me, um, and, uh, yeah, let me also paste this link here, uh, in a second on the chat. So yeah, you can, I think Rajendra has done this already. You can ping me on that issue to, to add it to the list and I'll be happy to do that. Um, so, uh, so prices for the MRs. Um, I mean, I just, uh, I'll talk more about that in the next slide, but uh, you know, once you submit an MR over the two day period, they need to be merged uh, by the 15th. Uh, so you have, I, I think roughly, uh, I mean, not quite two weeks, but, uh, you know, at least like you have two weekends and, 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 uh, so I'm, I'm trying to count the days, like roughly 10 days to get, uh, MRs merged. 
so 2300 UTC is sort of the deadline. But if you have any like issues, uh, if you have any circumstances that prevent you from getting something merged by the deadline, just feel free to let me know and uh, notify the all the prize winners uh, via a separate issue under the hackathon project. Uh, and speaking of uh, prizes, um, so we're maintaining this uh, similar structure. Uh, I'm on slide nine for, for those of you that are, uh, let me paste it one more time here because I see that a few other people have joined. Yeah. Oops. Yep. I didn't quite do that. There you go. So, so if you go to slide nine, uh, so the grand prize is the $100 uh, uh, voucher that you can use on shop.getlab.com to, to select the merchandise of your choice. And for the second prize, uh, second place is for people who have the uh, second most number of MRs merged by the deadline. Uh, believe it or not, we have a self-cleaning water bottle. Uh, if, if you're like me, are tired of like cleaning your water bottle at the end of the day. Uh, so this is bi battery operated, it's pretty slick. You, you recharge it with your uh, USB cable and, and it cleans itself. Um, so, if you happen to win it, let me know how it works. I might try to get one of these myself. It looks pretty cool. Um, uh, it's like insulated and it, it cleans itself. Like uh, I think it, it takes, uh, I forget how long it takes to clean itself, but it looks pretty cool. And for everybody who has an MR merge, you get a, a GitLab branded laptop sleeve. Uh, and uh, it's it might be hard to see on the slides. It, it's better to, you'll be able to see better on the hackathon page, but uh, this is a second anniversary, so I sort of noted that on, on the prizes just to celebrate our second an anniversary uh, of our hackathon. So those are the prizes, and I and, uh, just wanted to share some uh, hackathon stats uh, over the past couple of years. Uh, I mean, obviously, we saw a crazy growth from Q1 to Q2. We had like more than 100 MRs um, get merged between Q1 and Q2, or we saw an increase of almost 100 MRs between Q1 and Q2. Um, and uh, Rajendra won the grand prize last time with a uh, whopping number of MRs merged, like 82 MRs merged, but just wanted to give you an idea of how many MRs that we've been seeing over the past few hackathons. Um, so yeah, certainly you wanna, uh, you know, continue to growth and we'll, we'll see how we do. It'll be, uh, I mean, my, I'm, I'm thinking it might be tough to be 240, but you, you've all surprised me before. Um, so uh, we'll see how we do this time around. Um, I mentioned earlier, we have a list of suggested issues. Uh, so you can see this on, uh, on the hackathon issue itself, or um, if you, uh, on that issue that I just posted earlier, uh, where uh, we'll be listing MRs that are submitted, uh, at the top of the page, you have a list of uh, uh, suggested issues that people, we, we like to encourage people to work on uh, during the hackathon. Um, and uh, let me, so one of the feedback last time around, uh, doesn't look like Vitaly's on the call, like we typically had a lot more like a front end epics and issues that were highlighted for the hackathon. And there was a request to uh, build a list of uh, back end issues. And I think we we're able to do that. Um, there are I mean, a couple of them that were suggested by Myra. Uh, and I think the create team uh, added like the last like a half dozen or so issues there for back end. Uh, so I think there are a decent number of um, uh, back end issues that people can work on. And there's an epic for custom emoji at group level. Uh, and the front end team, once again, uh, have a long list of issues and epics that, uh, that people can work on over the two day period. And some of these issues were uh, added by the pajama team. So if you wanna get more info on this, um, do join the tutorial or listen to the recording. Um, so I think uh, George and Natalia, correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of these like uh, 
GI tooltip uh, in view, uh, like a lot of these tooltip stuff, I think these might be related to pajama design system, but I might be mistaken. So feel free to correct me. So. Cool. So yeah, we have a quite a quite a long list. I mean, we I think last time around, people pretty much finished all the issues and epics uh, on the front end side of things. Uh, but we and the front end team did a great job of adding more of them. Uh, so we'll see how we do. But uh, we have a, a, a decent number of, of issues that, that we want to encourage people to work on. Uh, so if you're interested in working on any one of these uh, on the issues, just feel free to ping me or or other GitLab team members that open the issues and be happy to assign them to you so you can start working on them. Um, so that's the suggested issues on slide 11. So going over to slide 12, uh, I already talked about Gitter, but there are other area ways to get help. Uh, in addition to posting questions on, on Gitter or even mentioning me, uh, there are merge request coaches. Uh, and then the easiest way to get people's attention is to use the alias at GitLab or slash coaches. Uh, mention them in the MR and uh, I'm on that alias as well. So, um, uh, so happy to, uh, uh, I mean, a lot of, I mean, there are, I think, I forget what the number is. I think there are 15 MR coaches now, um, but I'll also be, I'll also be happy to like chase uh, uh, people down if, if, or if, if needed, but I think people have been good about sort of jumping on and helping community members on MRs. Uh, so feel, feel free to coach, uh, feel free to ping the MR coaches. And uh, there's a page for also like reviewers and maintainers if you're interested. Um, but I mean, just using uh, Gitter and just MR coaches, I mean, those would typically be you typically be able to get people's attention if uh, if you need any help or have questions. So let me just pause here. I mean, that's sort of end of uh, the slides for. Um, for hackathon, let me just pause here. And I don't know if other core team members want to add anything or people have any questions. No. Hi. Hi, Maria. How are you? Hi. So, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I have a question. With yeah, um, I want to work in one of the backend uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And which uh, the, uh, we have to do. Uh, a branch, right? We have to create a branch and then open an MR yeah. from the, that branch or? You have to work off a fork. Uh, so just create a fork. Uh, oh, okay. of, yeah. And then and then just submit an MR from there. So, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah that was so, my cool. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. If you, if you have any questions, I mean, those are like a perfect questions to ask on Gitter and then, or, or you can even ping me on the issue. But I mean, that's a good question. Yeah. Okay, okay. Fork it then. Yep. from the master right yep okay yep. thank you you should be good to go so. cool we'll look forward to it so all right any other questions uh, and what i'll do is uh i'll switch over to the core team meeting agenda. So go to uh, slide 15. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of newcomers here. So I'll just uh, do a quick level set on or give you a, give people a quick overview of the core team uh, before we get to the agenda. So uh, I mean, here on slide, sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing the page, slide number, slide 16. Oh, we've got a couple of links there if you need more background on the core team. Uh, but so there's a link to the core team that talks about the mission and the composition. So we have uh, two GitLab team members on the core team, but the rest are from the wider community who made sustained con contribution over uh, a number of years in, in many cases. Uh, and we do have monthly meetings, uh, uh, typically, uh, and uh, the calls or meetings are always open. Uh, and then you know, feel free to visit, visit like the wiki page uh, that I still maintain where, where all the meeting materials are posted there. Um, so you're free to, uh, join the meetings. And I've been pleasantly surprised about, 
a number of people that actually watch your recording, uh, usually within a day or two. I don't. I I think I mentioned this a number of times to other core team members. Like I'll see like hundred plus people actually viewing the meeting, uh, which which uh, that I'm I'm constantly it, it, I'm constantly amazed. Uh, but uh, so the playlist is there if you happen to miss a meeting. Um, so that's just a quick uh, info on the core team. Uh, let's see. Uh, so in ter terms of like the official agenda, uh, and one of the things we talked about in July was revamping or rebranding Contribute for Prize. We used to have a label called Contribute for Prize. And then uh, the other item is we have a I mean, OKR item that uh, the quality team opened. And then Remy, I think you've been doing most of the work. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably let, I'll probably let you address uh, a lot of these, but we there are a couple of things that uh, that the quality team has started working on to improve uh, responsiveness to community contribution and also help with like a label labeling hygiene. So uh, so we want to quick talk quickly talk about that. Or Remy, I'll I'll I'll, I'll probably uh, have you address uh, a couple of the MRs that you open. I think one of them's already been merged actually. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so slide 17. Um, so uh, this, uh, we had a label for over a year called Contribute for Prize. I mean, this was to highlight some of the issues that we wanted to encourage uh, community members to work on. I mean, you, and then, uh, so this is something that we wanted to encourage community members to look at like between hackathons and, and, and still get a nice, uh, nice merchandise and I think there are a couple of reasons why there hasn't been a huge uptake. I think uh Jacopo is on the call. Like I think Jacopo like you're you're probably like the only one who actually like claimed a prize on 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 one of the issues with this label. Uh I mean one of them was I don't think like I mean first of all I don't think the prize was that exciting enough. It was kind of a generic lab merchandise. Uh so we decided to customize it this time around. Uh, to make it a little bit more unique. Uh, and then, I mean, I think, like, I, I can't remember who, maybe it was you, George, like, Contribute for Prize made it seem like, it seemed more transactional. People were just doing something to get a, a little merchandise, but we wanted to highlight the fact that this is sort of a challenging uh, issue that we wanted community members to work on. So we uh, re, sort of re, relabeled or rebranded that. Uh, and then the other thing that I'll probably do, uh, try to do a better job on is is doing a better social promotion, like uh, after the hackathon is over. Uh, I think I tried that when we first created this label uh, a little over a year ago. I probably need uh, want to work more closely with our social team. Uh, I mean, if you've seen some of the social promotions during Get Like Commit, it's it's been uh it's been great as as they always are uh so i probably want to you know lean on their expertise to do a better job with sort of promoting this on a on a regular basis uh and hope you like the merchandise i i have a I, on the slide here you have an image and, and it's also on the gitlab hackathon page uh so they have we have a we wanted to create a sort of a custom uh, prize um, and then we wanted to sort of play around with the theme uh, theme of community challenge uh, so uh, basically, it says um, uh, let me uh, it says raise a cup, uh, community challenge achieved. So we had a, a pretty nice message that uh, our uh, design team helped us with. And if you know what this is, this is basically a canister. If you want to, if you're a coffee lover or a tea lover, this is a, a nice container to put your coffee beans in and keep it fresh. Um, so we it's sort of sticking with the caffeine theme here, uh, if you like coffee or tea. Uh, so we, uh, we like the merchandise, so hopefully we'll have a, uh, have a better luck with this, a better uptake, uh, uh, and, and, and hopefully more people will take it up. And when I clicked on the, uh, the query for how many issues have this label community challenge there are only like a 16 of them uh it looks like like eight of them have been closed uh, but i'll probably work with like a product managers and even engineering managers to to see if uh, we can um, apply this label to more issues to highlight highlight more of them uh, we'll see how that goes so 
any questions on that, uh, uh, George or others? I think we've been talking about this for a few months, but uh, I don't know if you have any thoughts, feedback, or or um, if you like the merchandise, or if you, if not, but it's uh, great, right? Yeah. yeah, thanks. So, yeah, it was it was like it was either this or something related to alcohol, and we decided to go with caffeine. But we'll we'll see how it goes. But. Uh, and uh, we actually have, this is sort of an interesting aside, like we, we had two merchandise, one was related to alcohol, the, the other was related to, to caffeine. And then when, when we took a poll internally on Slack, like most of the US people migrated towards alcohol and non-Americans like, like, like the caffeine better, so the caffeine sort of went out. So interesting, like I don't, I don't know what that means, but that, that, that's sort of how we, we came to this. Um, uh, the item as a as a prize, so we'll see how it goes. So maybe we'll have more European contributors <laughs> claiming the prize, but I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Cool. All right. So moving right along. Uh, so wanted to talk about uh, Q3 Q. I'm sorry, Q3 key result items. Uh, if you want, if you click on that issue. Uh, this is something Mech opened up and then uh, if, I can't remember whether it was Kyle or you, Remy, there was like a detailed task that, that we have listed there uh, on the issue. So let me post this on the chat because I'm having issues sharing. Um, so yeah, take a look at detailed items there. And then there are a couple of them are that, uh, that are listed on the slide. Um, so first one is, uh, I mean, this was already, this already went out, I believe, Remy, if, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't opened an email, but uh, if there's a community contribution MRs that doesn't have the, the DevOps or group labels, you, uh, the MR coaches get pinged to you know, add those specific labels. Uh, that's one of them. Yeah. And then, uh, go ahead, Remy. So I, I probably should. Yes, yeah, probably so should yeah, it was merged yesterday, so same as you, I haven't checked my emails, but uh, yeah, the yeah. goal is, so for background, we already have this kind of triage report for like in the quality department for new issues and that, mm -hmm. uh, that are untriaged. So we are kind of reusing the, this logic to uh, triage um, community contributions uh, that don't have uh, proper um, labels. And the most important ones are the, the stage, so the DevOps uh, and, the, and the group labels, um, because with those labels applied, then we will be able to ping the relevant um, EMs, like uh, engineering managers or project managers um, on, on merge requests, so that we can, uh, we can uh, get the, the merge request moving forward um, quicker, let's say. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. And I think like in one of the issues I, I made a comment about, I mean, there are certainly like MRs, like including ones related to documentation, where there's no, not always like a clear, like a stage or a group that, that you can assign to. Uh, I think one of the group label is actually called like group, like unknown or like doesn't belong to a group or yeah. something. I forget what it's called, but I don't know if there's a similar one for the stages. But, um. Um, yeah, that's a good question for the stages. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure uh, either, but I think for the stages, you can always find a stage that's relate to the change anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's a, uh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, we have the group not owned, I think mm -hmm. it's called. Uh, yeah. Label, but for, yeah, stages maybe that's yeah. Like, we're still yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, usually it's like, whether it's documentation or MRs, like the, the MRs that are related to APIs, like those aren't always like clear to me. That's, that's actually basically, you know, when I typically raise a hand to the MR coaches and like, I don't know who should be reviewing this and, uh, uh, but I mean, there may always be like MRs where, you know, you don't, it's, it's never going to be clear what the stages or groups are, but, uh, but as it is right now, like 
uh, I think we still have like a plenty of MRs where these labels should be added, but it just doesn't happen. Um, so hopefully, at the very least, this will improve the labeling hygiene and also help uh, ping the right engineering managers for reviews if, if they haven't been reviewed. So thanks for doing that. Uh, I mean, and the next one, I'll, I'll let you talk about that too, Remy. So. Yeah, so the next one, um, the goal uh, were, was to um, um, make the, the cycle, uh, so the, the development cycle quicker uh, and the review cycle quicker. So um, instead of um, add, adding the community contribution label uh, daily uh, with, the, with our triage ops um, automation, we do that uh, every, every hour so that if you are, uh, for instance, if you are subscribed to this label, then you will get the notification and you will be able to act quickly, uh, quicker than before. Um, on, on this merge request. So that's really a small change, but the goal is to, yeah, to, to be more responsive uh, to community contributions in general. Right. Yeah, I think like, I, I'm probably not the only person who subscribes, uh, who subscribed to the label. Uh, Cause I know some of the engineering managers do like me, for example, like, I don't know if, if this is the case with package, but I mean, engineering manager could be, part of the package team and they subscribe to the, you know, package label and community contribution and it just hits their inbox pretty quickly. Right. So, um, I mean, I've been typically, uh, I mean, timing wise, this happens around like a five o'clock my time, uh, in the afternoon. So this sort of good way to end the day, I'll triage him and then I'm done, but, uh, engineering managers don't have to wait for me. So that's, uh, this is good. So I'm, I believe in working myself out of a job. So, this is good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Cool. Um, anything else on on the OKR, uh, Remy, that you want to highlight? Yeah. I think. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Something that we can highlight is that um, in the engineering productivity team, we are um, committed to to uh, to provide metrics, meaningful metrics, uh, in order to take the right decisions and also to enable other teams to take the decisions by themselves. And so for this quarter, we, we will create uh, five new charts related to community contributions. As you can see in the issue, so number of contributions over time, number of contributors, number of merge requests uh, coaches over time as well. Um, time to merge for contributions and number of features uh, contributed to core. Um, so yeah, that will um, help us um, see if uh, all the other actions have an impact or not. And, and, and yeah, provide visibility into, into our, our work and um, also allow other people to help us in that uh, challenge. Yeah. And, and I think you're also planning a, a blog post as well, right? I mean, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, I think I mentioned it on the issue, if you, I mean, even if it's just a feedback, I'm more than happy to help with you on the blog. So yeah, we're definitely being here. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And uh, yeah, one, one more thing is that we will uh, increase the number of coaches um, and the goal would be, so ideally we would have coaches in all, at least all the, the stages and even ideally like at least one per group, that would be really awesome. But for now, um, yeah, also in the UX uh, department, that could be useful to have coaches because there are uh, many times when uh, contributors need uh, yeah, UX. Uh, coaching um, and yeah I think that's that's pretty much it for this uh, quarter uh, care for us Quick question yeah. for that uh, will you be able to for the meantime to merge community con uh, contributions will you be able to uh, filter that by GitLab groups 
uh, uh, so by departments because for example yeah. a, a quite a, few, a while ago the runner team wasn't staffed as good so there was a drastic difference between merging something into the back end versus merging something into the runner yeah that's that's uh, a great question because that's exactly um one problem that we identified quickly is that we cannot just have these metrics at the very high level because it will give us visibility but it will not give us the, the precision on where we should make changes and improve so yes that all the all these charts will be will have filters per stage and group i think um, so we'll be able to see exactly where we can improve in which group or stage. So. Yeah, I mean, this is a while ago. I mean, speaking of the runner team, I, I had a call with like Elliot and we're trying to guess like which of the stages had like the most like community contributions. And it, I mean, it, what it turned out was that that exercise was kind of futile because it, Mostly, like a lot of the MR just didn't have any like a stage information, uh, so it, it was hard to get, um, um, you know, you, like a reliable information on like because the answer is like I really don't know because like most of the MRs just don't even have the labels, the right labels. So, um, so hopefully, uh, you know what uh, what what we're doing here is is going to help with that. Cool. Yeah, appreciate it, Remy. So I was really excited to see this. Cool. All right. And any other questions uh, for Remy or anything else that we talked about? So again, apologies for my technical difficulties earlier today. So I, I'm, I'm going to double check if I need to fix something before bunch of tutorial sessions tomorrow that we don't want to have to see this happening again. But thanks for your patience. But, all right. Well, so uh, nice to see like a new folks. I think Leon, you had questions on the chat, but it looks like your questions were answered. Uh, uh, Leon and Maria, welcome uh, to the hackathon and, and Gilang. Thanks for joining from Indonesia, like look forward to seeing a lot of MRs and uh, core team members uh, look forward to your help during the event and uh, we'll do this again next month. Cool. All right, thanks everybody. Cool. Thanks, sir. Bye, have a good have day. A good Bye. 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 Bye.